subversion. If you look in a dictionary or criminal code, usually is explained as a part of activity to destroy things like religion, government system, political, economical system of a country. Usually it's linked to espionage and such romantic things as blowing up bridges, sidetracking trains, clock and dagger activity, Hollywood style. What I'm going to talk about now has absolutely nothing to do with the cliché of espionage or KGB activity of collecting information. So the greatest mistake or misconception is that whenever we are talking about KGB for some strange reason, starting from Hollywood movie makers to professors of political science and quote-unquote experts on Soviet affairs or criminologists as they call themselves, they think that the most desirable thing for Andropov and the whole KGB is to steal blueprints of some supersonic jet, bring it back to Soviet Union and sell it to the... Soviet military industrial complex. It's only partly true. If we take the whole time, money, and manpower that the Soviet Union and KGB in particular spends outside of USSR border, of course there are no official statistics unlike with CIA or FBI, we will discover that the espionage as such occupies only 10 to 15 percent of money, time, and manpower. 15% of the activity of KGB. The rest, 85%, is always Subversion. Unlike a dictionary of English, Oxford Dictionary, subversion in Soviet terminology means always a destructive, aggressive activity aimed to destroy the country, nation, or geographical area of your enemy. So there's no romantics in there, absolutely. No blowing up bridges, no microfilms in Coca-Cola cans, nothing of that sort. No James Bond nonsense. Most of this activity is over legitimate and easily observable if you give yourself time and trouble to observe it. But according to the law and law enforcement systems of the Western civilization, it's not a crime. Exactly because of misconception, manipulation of terms. We think that subverter is a person who is going to blow up our beautiful bridges. No, subverter is a student who comes for exchange, a diplomat, an actor, an artist, a journalist like myself was 10 years ago. Now, subversion is an activity which is a two-way traffic. You cannot subvert an enemy which doesn't want to be subverted. If you know history of Japan, for example, before 20th century, Japan was a closed society. The moment a foreign boat comes to the shores of Japan, the Imperial Japanese Army politely tell them to get lost. And if American salesman comes to the shore of Japan, let's say 60 or 70 years from now back, and says, oh, I have a very beautiful vacuum cleaner for you. With good financing, please leave us. We don't need your vacuum cleaner. If they don't leave, they shoot them to preserve their culture, ideology, traditions, values intact. You were not able to subvert Japan. You cannot subvert Soviet Union because the borders are closed. The media is censored by the government. The population is controlled by the KGB and internal police. Subversion. Sub subvert. Sub subvert. Sub subvert. Subversion is the term